Hey guys, it's your boy. We back with more March Wet content. Today we are talking about the sneak peek two for the September update, and I have no idea what the hell is this. So <laughs> we have the September update sneak peek here, guys. We talked about the sneak peek one in details in the first sneak peek video for about 10 to 11 minutes. So when I tried to explain all the formations and all the characters included in the sneak peek one, now this sneak peek two. Gives actually rise to another character, which is more like an anti-hero. I would not say that uh, that's a villain, but he was also part of the same team name that we used in the sneak peek one. Before going to any further translations, let's go for the sneak peek two. Greeting agents, this is CM fragment of Marvel Future Fight. After discussing with Doctor Strange, so definitely the sneak peek one is Doctor Strange, not Loki's looks, as some of the people might be thinking. The Sorcerer Supreme explained he needs a new team to solve this devilish problem. Our agents have found a scientific uh, agents have found a scientist that specializes in supernatural phenomena. The first stop was his lab when science meets magic. So let's go for this one and hopefully we can find something interesting in the sneak peek. Although I don't know why uh, these uh, ads come showing up. And this crystal kind of looks interesting to me okay this is the first thing that i have actually noticed in the sneak peek so we have a lot coming on okay let me i'll i'll i think i'll have to do this oh look at that in the night so that looks like more bs because before going into any further i would i would like to show you guys this twitter post for the marvel feature fight the marvel feature fights v640 update introduces a biologist who long sought a cure for his blood ailment only to find that himself transformed into a living vampire and the living vampire actually is morbius but let's continue with this and there is one more guy i'm not sure who this guy is but uh, yeah we'll see how it goes because I'm really not sure who this guy is. So let's see what we have. What Do we have anything else that we can actually see it? Okay. Okay. Now red. Before it comes to an end. It looks like a Mandalay gem fragment. If I'm not wrong. Right? Which could also. Which could definitely mean that Morbius. Along being a new character. Will also get a vacant skill. Which is, which is okay. I mean okay. We have a new awakened character guys. So yeah, that looks like it. And that that looks like it and actually i have been uh, searching for the more bs and w once i saw this this sneak peek which i was really interested about so i went on the web of course search a hell lot of comic issues hell lot of uh, team ups that morbius has appeared and i found something really interesting morbius the living empire first of all the real name of the morbius is actually the doctor michael morbius who turned into a living vampire he has been a team uh, with the agents of Wakanda, we have I think the shield as well and the main important link Midnight Suns remember in the sneak peek one I told you that Wong summoned Blade, Doctor Voodoo, Moon Knight, Elsa Bloodstone, Ghost Rider, Iron Fist, Scarlet Spider and the Man Thing to form the latest incarnation of Midnight Suns to try to fight with the uh, with the with the uh, with the Mephisto's team who actually had an effect on Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Falcon, Hawkeye and James Foster turning all of them into Ghost Rider like creatures. Now the the Midnight Suns is is a really important link for these two sneak peeks and this actually adds them up totally it combines them up also it confuses the hell out of me because we talked about all the characters that were included in the Midnight Suns were summoned by the Wong, which was the new Midnight Suns. Guess what? Morbius also was a part of a Midnight Suns team, and the Midnight Suns th team that he was a part of, which was actually a team of supernatural superheroes, included Hellstorm, Morbius himself, Werewolf by Night, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider Danny Catch, as well as Do Johnny Blaze the Ghost Rider. So there were two different Ghost Rider in this comics. There was uh, actually one more character that I'm actually forgetting the name of in the Midnight Suns. So that was the old Midnight Suns team. And the Midnight Suns team that Wong summoned was actually referred as the new Midnight Suns team. Now, we have had, I think, one, two, three, four, five, I mean, around about seven to eight characters in the Midnight Suns new team summoned by the Wong. And here we have six to seven characters actually right here in front of us. Actually, eight characters, about eight characters in the old Midnight Suns team for the Morbius. Could that mean this is going to be a huge update? 
or is it gonna be just uh, maybe th there can be two ways to go for them they can uh, they can they can definitely go for two ways either they can include all the characters that were included in the midnight suns team up including the new midnight suns and the old midnight suns team or they might just be giving the information uniforms new characters for the main characters uh, appearing in those comic issues now talking about the appearances and actually the the new character and the main character we thought it was damnation because this first sneak peek was definitely damnation hotel inferno mephisto conquering all those and uh, doc strange tried to revive all those people who died in las vegas it was definitely damnation now from damnation we have switched to the morbius part which is actually actually the midnight suns comics so it could be a mixed up between the damnation and midnight suns which was include the midnight suns as well as the damnation part of the group as well we really need to see what can this update bring to the table because we now can see that uh, uh that this guy uh more more bs can also and might also be getting a vacant skill i'm still not sure we can see two shadows here one is for morbius the second one i'm still not sure who the hell the second one is it does not look like doctor strange because doctor strange would just have that uh, uh, cape he does have that ca kind of like cape but the, it also feels interesting it also feels weird and uh, it also confused the shit out of me because there are a lot a lot of characters that might be getting a potential uniforms for this update we could also have the diamond hellstorm we could have a whole new ghost rider in the game as danny cage or who knows maybe we can get a new uniform for johnny blaze ghost rider uh, in a completely different look werewolf by night could also be a new character we have blade who is in is in desperate need of rework or a reworked uniform we have dr voodoo which is not like new to the game he has been in the game but he's like he has like next to no use instead of except for being maybe a extra ac character or maybe a lead in world boss ultimate so he definitely needs some love moon knight has been in the game forever he was meta he could get a potential uniform with the new look scarlet spider we still need to see if the scarlet spider is gonna be a new spider man in the game or it could also be a new uniform for the existing spider man in the game the man thing could also be a potential new character but we still now have confirmed that we are gonna get a new uniform for doc strange that's one uniform we are gonna get more bs that's a that's a new character and an awakened character hopefully with the metal gem fragments now what is interesting to see and what actually thrives me and uh, makes me interested in this comic issue and this update is that it's kind of like a crossover between the midnight suns and actually the damnation series so let me know what you think about the video guys let me know what you think about these two comic series if you have any ideas of what characters possibly could be getting these new uniforms if you have any ideas of what new characters could be added apart from uh, apart from morbius because there are some characters and new uniform that could bring uh, that this update could bring for these characters who are not really new characters they were actually be in the game they were amazing at their point now are now like heavily really really outdated because satana got the new uniform hellstorm did not so it could be a really good time for hellstorm to get a new uniform and maybe maybe become sort of good in pvp and good in pve as well so that it will boost his own power ups and it will boost his own character now speaking of some of the characters like blade who are desperately in need of a rework which are like trash in the game complete trash character in the game they could also become usable in this update so i don't think they should leave this opportunity with the moon knight rework as well elsa bloodstone can use a uniform she is good in shadowlands she can do good but the fact is that she needs more and more love more iframes ghost rider i'm not sure what's gonna happen iron fist i mean there are a lot a, a lot of possibilities coming with this update so let me know what you think about all of that and all of this for the sneak peek one and two looks like it's gonna be a crossover event and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care see ya i'll bring you more information in the next sneak peek bye bye